Have you ever wondered how wind is impacting your flight time? I have and I've decided to find out. In this video I've drained two of my old batteries flat in windy conditions and uh, tested the, the reduction in flight time compared to the no wind scenario. Before we get all windy, let's roll that intro. Do you want to improve your drone footage, refine your video skills, learn about emails, the future of commuting? Subscribe to my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. You might recall that I managed to test the flight time under almost ideal conditions with 32 Fahrenheit and no wind. This represents the lower operating limit set by GGI and we got the following results. A funny thing that I did not tell you was that uh, during my originally no wind test that was actually interrupted because a light shower decided to play games with me. So I uh, stopped the testing and continued a few hours later where the wind unfortunately picked up. I decided to continue the testing for at least I would have some uh, reference flight times uh, during windy conditions. The temperature was around 34 Fahrenheit which was not too much off uh, compared to the lower limit of 32. Let's recap the test protocol. Enable video recording 1080p 25 frames per second. Battery alarm set to 15%. Take off to an altitude of 50 meter or 165 feet. Enable point of interest with a radius of 40 meter or 130 feet. Set the speed to around 15 miles per hour. Point Mavic nose forward. Wait for the battery to drain to 15% and auto land. Low battery warning. Record flight time from the battery menu when the Mavic is safe back on the ground. I had two batteries fully charged ready to test and to my luck it was the ones labeled 2 and 3 that performed almost identical in the no wind test. So this will give us a good set of values to compare. Let's look into some footage from the test. Battery number 2. Battery level is low. The aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. Flight time for the record 2134. Battery number three. Battery level is low, the aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. Flight time for the record, 22.14. Test completed. Because the wind is so unpredictable, the two batteries did not come as close as they did under the no wind scenario. If we average the values, we will get a flight time a tad under 22 minutes. If we do the same to the values from the no wind scenario, we will get 23-38 minutes of average flight time. This means the wind has chopped off 1 minute and 44 seconds. Not surprisingly, wind makes a big impact on the flight time, but we're well above the 21 minutes uh, of uh, general flight time specified at 15 miles per hour. Nice to see that DJI keeps within their own specifications. What flight times are you getting with your batteries in high wind? Leave a comment below. Thinking about it, it will be fairly easy for you guys to repeat this in your backyard. It's pretty straightforward as the test steps has been described previously in this video. Post the result in the comment section below along with the temperature and uh, roughly estimate of the wind conditions. 
If you decide to pick up an additional battery to expand your flight time, I've put a link in the description below where you can pick up a brand new original battery with a discount. Do you know the real maximum speed of Mavipo? I made a test to find out. You can access the video by clicking this card.